Hello, welcome back to my channel, Hundred Kepreneurs. In this video, I am going to walk you through the StackNet airdrop. Now, uh, this is gonna be a little bit. It's gonna take you some while to finish this airdrop because StackNet uh, can be slow with processing each step. But I will be pausing this video so as to keep it short. Of course, I'm gonna keep talking about what StackNet is, a digital identity. The steps for this StackNet airdrop would involve getting enough StackNet test tokens and then completing the Odyssey or the quest about seven steps where you mint your Stack ID, mint NFT, verify Twitter. Every step link will be included in the description of this video. So the first step is to download StackNet wallet. Or StackNet compatible wallet, you could download Agent S or Bravo. So I will use Agent S. The link to this will be in the description of the video. I will click on Add to Chrome, Add Extension. I will click on Restore Existing Wallet because I already have a, a wallet. So I will go to my MetaMask and grab my MetaMask. Recovery phrases settings. So what I basically did was to get this key and import it to my Agent S wallet. Now I have my wallet Agent S. Step number two is to get some stack net test token or test it. So let me open my wallet. Of course, the link is in the description. Now make sure it's in the test net, not on main net. And they're asking me to upgrade. I have done this before. So let me just click on upgrade. Upgrade. Confirm. Now the token you will get may be so small. Let me copy and show you. I have 0 0.1 here. So let's see. The token may be so tiny to complete all the tasks. Let's try this again. So this error is coming. It's currently locked due to high demand of testnet. Try again. No problems. Now let's use the second method. The second method, which is visiting guelifalset.com to get some guelit in your MetaMask and then bridge it over to stack it. Okay. Um, you will get enough token with this. So go to testnet. Let me copy my address. I've already shown you guys how to do this. So let me um, log in. I have to log in. Okay, now that I have logged in, I can now paste my MetaMask wallet address here. They will send me 0 0.18 which is way much it than what StackNet would have given you. Now that I have this it in my wallet, a MetaMask, it is time to convert it to StackNet it. That will be the step three. You do that by bridging, bridging over. So visit the link in step three to bridge. So accept the terms. And now you can bridge. So connect your wallet, MetaMask, and your Agent X wallet. You need the two connected. You see, I will connect Stack S, which is Agent X. Now they are connected. Let me confirm how much it I have here. Okay, so. In Agent S, I have actually, I have enough it here. I wouldn't even need this conversion. But if you are doing this for the first time, you may not have enough. You may have 0 0.000 something that is not enough for you. So that's why I'm showing you how to get more it. So now I'm going to bridge over 0 0.08 from Gwely it in MetaMask to this um, StackNet wallet. So let me do transfer 
confirm okay uh, it took about seven minutes before it completed you can see i now have extra point zero eight added to my point zero one so that point zero eight in your own case will be enough for you to complete the task if you manage your distance so the next will be the next step will be to visit this uh, link odc.starknet.id to do the quests the link will be in the description connect your wallet connect welcome now there are about seven tasks to be done or even eight so begin step by step so let's do the first one which is to mint nft confirm so let's wait for it to finish if you click on it again i've already done that so let me not mint twice now you can always check the details of your transaction by clicking on your wallet you will see there is this uh, mark here you will see the latest transaction mint you will look at it on stack scan the test net so this could take like the next five minutes that's how slow uh, stacks uh, network is if you are using phone you already know how to go about this use kiwi browser and do exactly what we are doing i think if you look closely you will see that it will even give you the time expected time so uh, i think four minutes left right that stage finishes it says pending and it has to also complete the other stage uh, accepted on layer 2 once it completes this one then it's completed accepted on layer 2 what you could do if you if you have no time to watch this you could also go here and refresh it from time to time if you refresh it it will say this just keep on looking at it it will allow you to connect your wallet see connect agent s you see that part is completed so let's progress to the next step the next is to answer quiz if you fail it anyone they will allow you to repeat that step after nine seconds so let's answer the quiz quickly what is starknet.id so let's call it all in one identity so i got it this one is multiple choice question why is it useful for users to verify their social media accounts on their starknet identity i chose the first and the second i got it the next one i got it so the next one let's try and fail and see i still got it right if you fail remember what i said it will give you time to try again so this will not be useful on mainnet no so i am done it's time to validate again you have to give it some time if you click on open in voyager it will go to the blockchain again and show you the progress right so let's wait a bit meanwhile i will just close this when it finishes it will allow you to move to the next step that one is completed let's go to the next one which is maintain your stack identity connect my wallet so choose any identity you want let me say um crypto pinaco okay so let's search for that 
Now, pay attention here. You see the price for five years. You don't want to waste your eats because there are more tasks to be done. So reduce the years. Maybe two years. Okay, reduce it to two years so that you have more eats for your task. So you give it time to finish. If you go to your wallet, you will see that there is a task. There is a task ongoing that is the main thing. Let's see what is happening on blockchain. You see, so it will also go through that stage. I will just close it up and return to the quest page. And just close it. Once it finishes, it will say completed so that you can progress to the next one. So it looks like it is completed after about seven minutes. You can see it is at this point. So you have to still go back and click on start and you want to um, click on select, select to select the identity, the stack ID. This will also take a few minutes. Okay, it is completed. Now the next step will be to verify on Twitter. The next step will be to verify your Twitter account. Start. Open. Just click on that. Connect your wallet. And click Start Twitter Verification. Authorize, connect wallet, verify my Twitter, it's going to take a while also, so you have to wait. Alright, so we are done, I think this is the longest, it took a while, you see if you go to the page it says congrats, your Twitter is verified. Now, during the verification, you could also go to your StarkNet wallet, go and check the transaction, right? You will see the minutes. I checked it here, it was showing me like 18 minutes or something. This really took a lot of time, but we are, we are done. So let's click on Validate. This again is going to take about one minute or two minutes i think this one will be fast so let's see but let me close this up and see let me refresh this page give it about 30 seconds it will ask you to connect wallet so let's connect Okay, so we have to wait for this. Okay, so we are done with this step after about seven minutes, right? So the next step will be to follow on Twitter. Let's go and follow on Twitter. Follow, then you come back, you click OK, and you have to again validate this on the blockchain so you have to now wait again for the next five minutes or so let's see how it's doing on blockchain i will pause the video again whoa so we are done after about seven minutes so let's now pick domain which is the next step is to get a domain domain is different from stack id so let's visit stacknet.id here you are going to get a domain it's similar to stack id but it's different right so let me call this one uh crypto pina domain just to differentiate things now very important you don't want to waste your money you will still need some money so reduce the years i will go with two years so that i'm able to uh, pay pay fees
so it's waiting time again one thing that i noticed uh, was that um, minting of id buying of domain is faster than that twitter verification twitter verification took the most time almost 18 minutes or 20. so let's give this time to you know validate and then we get back okay it looks like we are done after about five to seven minutes so let me click on validate which is gonna validate again for the next couple of minutes so let's wait for it to finish validating as we wait for that to validate this next step says change your twitter profile pic by your identity avatar you can see the buying of a domain has completed so let's just go to that next step this one just want to make this page smaller uh -huh, so that we can see it yeah start change your twitter pro pic okay just change it with your avatar So let's open that place. So this is your avatar. All you need to do is to do a screenshot of this. So this is what I have. So let me crop. Done. Now I will just click on this Twitter to change it. Okay, before you do that, it's best to make sure you have changed your Twitter profile. So let me do that. Of course, this is just uh, my play Twitter. It's not my main Twitter account. So edit profile. So let me just change my pic. Let me change my picture. Apply. Save. Okay, now I have it. It's time to approve, authorize this. So let's authorize it so that they will go and check your Twitter. So you know Twitter one takes a lot of time, so it's gonna be another moment of waiting. So I will just pause the video and come back. Hopefully this one will be faster. It's look it's moving very quick. So when it finishes, we can go here and click OK. OK, this concluded very fast, very, very fast. So let's go and click OK to validate that. So we wait it out in a couple of minutes. This one too should be over. Okay, the next one is to make a tweet mentioning starknet.id. So let's do that. Click on post this tweet. Post this tweet. So I clicked on it. It's already there. So tweet it. Now it's time to and we are at the last stage level eight set your domain as main domain so let's do that click ok to do that it will set your domain behind the scene as your primary domain now the starknet mainnet is already out so i will be doing a follow-up video on that so expect that
Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.